the scaredest I've ever been. I was 12 years old. We floated out on a piece of ice uh, while we were duck hunting. It was a bluebird day, just clear blue skies. And there was three of us, myself, my brother, and my dad. Next thing you know, we see this dark, dark shadow on the ice. Uh, we look and it goes behind us. So we, we all jumped up startled and uh, my dad, he started running. We got back to the ridge there. The, uh, the ice had fractured, cracked and broke off and we were floating away. We were, we were drifting. <laughs> It was close enough to where my dad would have made it. He stopped and he thought about throwing us across and if one of us was on the other side, we would be split up. So he stopped and he just so happened to have a, a cell phone on him. 911 didn't pick up. <laughs> That's the worst feeling in the world right there. 911 did not pick up. So he left a, a message because they record their calls. Once he had relayed that information, his cell phone died. That was the scariest moment I've ever had in my life. We were floating away and I thought we were left for dead. Uh, he kept calm during this situation. Uh, he's bringing out everything positive in this case. You know, I'm crying, my brother's freaking out. It went from clear blue to dense, dense fog. Within a couple hours, we heard the chopper flying around, so they must have gotten our message. Uh, we thought we were saved, and then the chopper sound went away. So we lit some of the sled on fire. It's plastic. We thought black smoke in the fog would create some kind of marker. Chopper pilot uh, had mentioned uh, when we got rescued, you could see a glow in the fog and he slowed down there and sure enough, as soon as he slowed down, uh, we got within visual. That was definitely the scariest moment of my life, was floating away and not knowing what the outcome was gonna be.